Lance, keep it alive. Stone in motion. Yes, we are back. After uh, one week, after last week, we're back again to educate the culture, to let the people know what's going on. We're back up in here. I'm back up in here with my lovely co-host, Nicole, and my boy, hey, E-Money yeah. Bags, Ethan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't got to try to say my man E putting on that cool voice. I hear you, my G. I hear you. <laughs> my, my man, uh, my man. All right. Yeah, so we're, we're back. We're back once again, stoned in motion. Like I said, we're here to educate the people. We're aiming to become the number one marijuana podcast. Please get involved today with the Super Chat donations. That's the only way we'll acknowledge you and acknowledge any type of hate or trolling. We don't read the the, the Super Chats that's in the side. So let's keep that real. Miss Nicole, what's going on with you? Nicole and Fonte. Yes, I, did I say yes, that correctly or no? Yes, respect, respect. <laughs> what's going on with you, Nicole? <laughs> Nothing, just smoking on this banana OG. How about you? I'm smoking on some blue, bear, some blue nightmare right now at the moment. And we know my brother Ethan is not smoking anything. That's all right, uh, because... <laughs> He's he, he's keeping it clean, but that's all right. That's all right, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you, though? Uh, I heard, um, Nicole, I heard of uh, a lot of hate coming your way this week. You know, they're upset that you're on Stone the Motion. They're upset that this is the platform that you decided to help out. What's going on, man? A lot of hate out there for you, or what? Man, I don't know if it's hate or just, you know, just agendas. I try to support everybody and network with everybody and I always have the best intentions but sometimes people don't consider consider it that they you know ride on the fence and shit like that so you know everybody has their own opinion and they can keep it that's how you deal with it you know if they're still hating then that must mean I'm still working and I'm doing something right you know what I'm saying I just want to start off before we go into any bullet points today I just want to say this is Stone Emotion the home of the marijuana podcast this isn't the home for the bozos. Crazy. Mine is? Yeah, a little bit. Am I, am I good now? Okay, yeah, you sounded better. I'm good now. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Like I said, like I said, this is home of Stone Emotion, the number one marijuana podcast. We don't have time for no bozos. This isn't a, this isn't a fashion runway. This isn't, you know, let's step up right, and come up. Or a history channel. <laughs> <laughs> the History Channel, my man yeah, Ethan right, Malvo. Right. Uh-huh. This is this is a place for real niggas to get educated on the marijuana culture, point blank, period. So all that other shit, y'all niggas can miss me. Y'all can't. If you want to get at me, the PayPal's my one hundred. That's how we handle business over here. You feel me? And join the conversation via super chat. If you have something to say, your favorite strand, join the conversation. Yes, yes. Nicole, on our job. <laughs> Lansky, a little Lansky, a little high. Pay, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're gonna start the show a little bit different today, cause you know we 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 strayed away. We've been going into the bowls on antics. We've been letting people scream on the line and do all type of nonsense. But today we're gonna talk about some real marijuana education. Today, before I even go into this, I just want to let y'all know I'm about to name the ten best edibles of 2017. So this applies to everybody who's in uh, the states where marijuana is legal. For you guys to have recreational or medicine, medical snacks, which are considered edibles, which is a form of eating marijuana. But before we go into that, I just got to brag about my weed. You know, <laughs> Nicole, I know you're smoking that banana OG, but I got to brag about my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm smoking a uh, Blue Nightmare. It's a hybrid. For those who don't know, that's a mix between the indica and sativa. And don't worry, we're gonna get into that in a second. It's a cross between Blue Dream and Tahoe OG, and the Tahoe OG is Indica. You know, it makes you feel very talkative. I feel very talkative right now. I'm ready to go. Before Good. I get into the ten, before I get into the ten best edibles, uh, according to High Times, I'm definitely gonna explain this to y'all, and you can feel free to kick in, uh, uh, Nicole. Cause I know you know the difference. Uh, indica, indica strains. There's two strains of marijuana. It's indica and sativa. The indica strain is known for physical, sedating, and perfect for relaxing or movies or your nightcap. So something like an indica would be like a grape at a grape ape, granddaddy perp, or another or northern lights. Indica strains are known for 
physically sedating perfect and for relaxing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading the same shit again. Stone in motion, y'all. Please pardon me. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> well, while, while you take that pause, I just want to answer some people in the chat room. The reason why I'm on this show is because <laughs> just like the real Maya Lansky, you don't need to do heroin in order to have information and sell heroin, right? <laughs> That's the so eat thing. You, you're telling these, you're telling these broke so, niggas the so, wrong thing, my nigga. You gotta tell them. They gotta send a super chat. Don't pay attention oh, to right, any of right, these right, niggas right. In, in that chat that room. If they, if they want to get involved, right? If they want to get involved, they'll hit the super chat. Nicole, Nicole already told them. So anyway, sativa, <laughs> sativa, which is the second strain, <laughs> provides uplifting cerebral effects that pair well with physical activity, social gatherings, and create, creative projects, such as sour. Uh, New York Diesel, things of that nature as well. So now, this is, you know, we usually go into the bullet points and go into all the stories and all that. We're not doing all that right now, but feel free if you hear any strain that you have, or uh, edible, because we got strains too today, but we're going to do the edibles first. And uh, let me know if you ever, you know, partook in these edibles, if you went out and had a crazy night, if it turned into something you didn't expect. But here we go. Uh, the first one is pot chips. This is a, obviously a chip. This is an edible chip. It's made by LOL Edibles. Uh, they have choices between chili cheese, crunchy Cheetos, hot Cheetos, and it's considered the only potent and savory infused edibles on the market. Number right. two. There is an cheap. advisory to that chip, too. If you're not Where? experienced, yeah, if you're not experienced in taking edibles, don't try that chip first. Okay. Dope. So yeah, every 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 time I shout one out, if you got some info, you could definitely shout it out in the you know, this you. is a, this is an Ethan feel right now. This the second no the second snack will be called uh, Chiba Chews, one of the first legal uh, candies, and it's uh, infused with edibles. It's from California. It's won the cannabis cup three times, and it's uh, stocked in over 800 dispensaries. Uh, people say they like to eat it because it's discreet and easy to dose. For those who don't know what the cannabis cup is, it's something that uh, a magazine and certain uh, growers hold uh, to see what the best weed strain is, what the yeah. best edible is. All right. Number three, Incredibles Boulder Bar. Milk chocolate with tofu, founded in 2010. Since, uh, since they grew into Colorado's highest volume and most nationally awarded infused product company. So, yes, that's uh, something you can find out there on the West Coast. Once again, these are for the states where marijuana is legal. Feel free to uh, chime in through the Super Chat anytime. Uh, Kiva Confections, a cheetah bar, a oh, chocolate bar, sorry. Kiva Confections Chocolate Bar. This is uh, one that's really liked in the industry, in the edible and cannabis field, due to the fact that this is a lab-tested and it's easy dosage, uh, in reference to what Nicole was saying to one of the snacks earlier that has high dosage. This is something that, you know, I guess beginning smokers could, you know, Munch on if they want to get a light buzz. Right. All right. We got Zen number. We got numbers. Uh, whatever number this is. Zen Brands Voodoo Sour Straws. So obviously, it's not chocolate. It's like those uh those sour straws you get at the store or whatever, and they're infused with uh 375 milligrams of top shelf extract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, we got a super chat. chat. <laughs> I see you laughing. I see you laughing. Gorilla Zell, Ethan, you're talking dumb, slow, and sound like Homer Simpson. You sure you don't smoke? And yes, we're gonna get into that because I do want to ask Ethan Malvo if he's lying on the mic. We can't get too too deep on it. He said he doesn't smoke. We're not gonna no, press him smoke. too much, but. Hey, do you want to answer that, Ethan Malvo? No, I'm you know, I... <laughs> <laughs> what you want to Well, I laugh with the super chat. Just as well as everybody else there. <laughs> so you're with the shits. All right. I'm with you. I'm with you, Ethan Malvo. You're a good sport. Anyway, let's finish up the night. Oh, we do? Go ahead, read it, Nicole. Ethan, Go ahead, you can read it. They want to hear your voice. Ethan, fuck these lanes in the hate. <laughs> Ethan, fuck these lanes in the hate room. Talk whatever you have to bring. Whatever you have to bring to the ma machines, sir, respectfully. Salute the panel. <laughs> Thank you, Dusty. Yes. <laughs> Salute F.D. Salute F.D. Salute Okay. Are you dissing them, Ethan? You're on number three now. Nah, man. I'm on, like, number six. Ethan, I swear to God, you're high, man, but I know you don't smoke. Oh, hold on. We got another donation. John Maz, Lansky, don't let Hayes... Don't... John Maz, 
Lansky, don't let the haters put pressure on you. And I'm talking co-hosts and sideline cats looking into the game. Appreciate the uh, donation, sir. We're getting down tonight. It's just the beginning. We just starting off doing a little bit different. Fifteen dollars. You got money. <laughs> oh, oh, you saying hello to him? Go ahead, Nicole. Good, no, no, good, no, good. No, salute. Salute. They want they they want to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's finish this list, man, because this list is taking longer than I expected. Real stoner shit. Hold on. <laughs> anyway. Hello, Ali. Donated $4. Jay Go ahead. Read it, Nicole. I remember you from the head of Thorn. You're a male thought. Anal cavity <laughs> was raped by every male panelist and left dead unborn kids. Hate squad. Oh, too dry unborn kids. Hate squad. Hate squad salute. Thank you, Super Mo. Salute to everybody that's uh, donor and like I said, they will be on the rebroadcast and you could definitely send them. We'll read them during the um the broadcast. So send your hate, send your love, send whatever you want to send. I'll finish up this oh, list because it's just Go ahead. Oh man, yeah. she's getting lit right now. Go ahead. Yeah, go, off, go ahead. Beat <laughs> off, off beat bop donated four dollars. Which strain is best for anxiety? We're gonna get into that. That's one of the next bullet points. Not really a bullet point, but one of the next lists that we're gonna get into. Okay. So Keep it, keep an ear out for that. We're gonna um, talk about real all quick, that. Banana OG is really good for anxiety. Just a quick answer. Okay, and is that you know if it's a sativa, indica, or a hybrid? It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Okay. Yeah, cool, but sometimes cool, cool. they can have more features from one and the other and still be mixed. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you smoked how many of that did you smoke today? Just one. I don't smoke like that. Just. Oh, nice. come on. Nice. Come on, Nicole. We know you smoked <laughs> more than one, man. You said no, you had some, okay. you know, some free time today. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Let's finish up this, this edible list, man, for the people out there because the, weed is not the only... You don't have to smoke weed only. You can also eat it. I know it doesn't right. sound sophisticated, but there's no other way to put it. <laughs> Whoopi, this, this one's called Whoopi and Maya. Made this, this product is liked because it's made of natural ingredients. It's made of raw cocoa beans. Uh, rich in magnesium, iron, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. And once again, it's one of the top favorites, top five, because it has all natural ingredients. Uh, the next snack would be Wawa Sour six? Gummies. Yeah, I don't six? know what we're not. <laughs> we don't know it's what number we're on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wawa Sour <laughs> Gummies. These are sort of like these are like sort of like Sour Patch Kids, but you know they're not Sour Patch Kids. So I don't want you guys to start going to Sour Patch and trying to get these type of edibles from them. They are like them. They're considered one of the best edibles because it's discreet, consistent, and effective. Then we have Kanahi Coast S'mores Brownie. This is for the fancy smokers out there. This is for you know the people out there who don't want to smoke with their lady. They might want to eat a meal of weed with their lady. So this is gourmet, award-winning edibles and lab testing. Not only brownies, blondies, cookies, uh, and more. Considered one of considered one of the best when it comes to taste as well. And then, this was new to me, Nicole. I need you. I need you. You to back me up on this one. Selectivist syrup, marijuana. It's something like marijuana lean. It's a syrup. It's not marijuana lean. We're not going to compare it to lean, but it's mar. It's a syrup. But it has marijuana, THC, and stuff like that in it. So you could use it to put it in your drink. You could pour it into any beverage, but soda's recommended. Oh, my God. For the, for the high I mean, tolerance. I no, hold on. For the high tolerance smokers, they have a 1,500-milligram uh, bottle. So that's for, like, I guess the heavy THC lean drinkers out there. What do you want to say, Nicole? What do you want to say? They're going to be looking like the lean drinkers now, then. It's going to have them like comatose. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> all, 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 all in due responsibility. Next, last, this is the number one on the list. It's the Punch Chocolate Bar. It started in 2013. 2013, I'm sorry, I'm slurring and I'm hot. It's infused chocolate. Considered the best for its consistency and potency. So, yeah, that's how he's going to, you know, start the show, you know, now. Talking about more things that's related to the industry. That's another thing I want to talk about. Uh, me and Nicole are trying to get more people from marijuana dispensaries, growers, and people like that oh, on the sponsors. show. So, yep, sponsors. So definitely holler at me or Nicole. That's a fact, though. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's that. We got some more lists for you, but we're going to get into some other shit real quick. Once again, if you feel like getting into conversation, please hit the super chat. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, 
I'm going to go to Mr. Ethan Malvo. We're going to get the politics out the way first, sir. So Okay. Educate the people. We, that's why we brought you here. You're an educator. You're here to educate right, the people. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so what's going well, on? Well, the, the first one is from California. I mean, no, Colorado. <laughs> Okay, and what's the site? California is the second second story. But anyway, the first story is uh, from California and is about a little girl named Alexis Bortel who suffers from epilepsy. And she needs one of the cannabis strains that they sell out there in Denver called Tetrahydrocannabinol, THC for short. (laughs) And, <laughs> and you see, this is the thing. Now, I didn't know this. Jeff Sessions is not only the attorney general, but he's the acting director of the Drug Enforcement Administration. So he's wearing two hats there, and he is bringing this little girl up on charges for... And how old is this girl? She's uh, 12, I think. 12 years 12. old. She needs... She needs her medicine. She needs, she needs this. Hold on, Ethan. For, so she needs her medicine. Her with her epilepsy. Yeah. And this and this attorney general is attacking her. Is that what you're saying yeah. right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Continue. yeah. He he he's going to bring it on, uh, bring her up on federal charges, and they think this will go to the Supreme Court. So that's the basic outline of the story, and. They moved from, her family moved from Texas so she could have access to THC. So, uh, yeah. In other words, when you say THC, in other words, when you say THC, you're just saying marijuana. (laughs) Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the the strand. I have to inform the people of what strand this is. No, uh, no, 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 it's not a strand. Ethan Malvo, the THC is what makes you high in the marijuana. This is what I'm saying. It's the education of marijuana still in the motion. Before we get right, into, right. um, before I let Nicole speak, we got another donation. Oh, Lane, okay. Lane, Lane was good. Uh, Lone da- L- Lane donated. I thought this was a funeral. Fuck Ken Steele, a.k.a. the African booty scratcher. He got gay porn and double penetration scenes. Well, yes, yeah, sir. Not only, not only is this a funeral, this is the rebirth. You know, people wanted me to get into a slum. I brought niggas through the door. We're going to take a second for, for me to rant. I All brought right, niggas right. through the door. If other people want to steal calls, and if other people want to act like they don't know what's going on, then that's fine. I don't give a fuck. You people are sick. You people are sick. You, 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 you wrap your life around the Internet. No wonder your job is writing you up every fucking second. Get off the damn phone. Why are you worried about a kid named Lance's Corner? You, you're worried about something. You're worried about something you can't handle. You niggas are losers, my nigga. You bring niggas through the door, and like you said, uh, Lane, they're booty scratchers. No homo, man. <laughs> they just looking. They just looking. They just looking for someone to scratch their ass, and it won't be Lansky. We got another donation, man. The Bay Boy donated. Lansky, you're a fucking nerd. I I gave <laughs> I give this show two months before this plug gets pulled. Weird ass bitch. Well, thank you, sir. I am a nerd. I love to watch Batman shows. I like to watch The Flash, and I like to smoke weed while I do it, my nigga. The fuck is up, man? I'm turned up right now. I'm drinking cheap beer, 125 beer. Nicole, what do you think about this girl who needs help? And um, what's the story that Ethan's talking about? The epilepsy. I'm turned up, man. I'm turned up. Get in the super chat. Let's talk. I think talk it's un- I think it's I think it's unfortunate, but Jeff Sessions, he don't give a fuck. That little girl could die, and he don't give a fuck. He'll still take her up on charges. He has, like, an ultimate hate against marijuana for the medicinal purposes, recreational. He just has, like, a passion against it. So it's going to be hard to get him to change views. And like you said, Ethan, he wears two hats. Yeah. Yes. Could you break that down, Ethan, when you say he wears two hats? Because this is why you sound like the political guy on the show. So what do you mean when he wears two hats? Right. He is the federal government's lawyer. That's the attorney general role. And then as the acting director, now that's very important, the acting director of the Drug Enforcement Administration. Now this, as people know, is the bureaucracy that oversees 
marijuana distribution, even whoa, in... Whoa, 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 bureaucracy. Days. What, what, what does yeah. that mean? Even, I'm smoking blue nightmare. You don't know Ethan. what the bureaucracy is? The bureaucracy <laughs> no, is, what is that? The bureaucracy is, in every state, the federal government has an oversight of all the legislation that governs taxes, that governs commerce, the interstate commerce, you know, Things like that. So I don't know. I don't know, but you're educating me. In all of that. So that's the bureaucracy that I'm talking about. Law enforcement agencies and everything else like that is all tied Nicole, up. With that. You're, Nicole, you're on the banana you're on the banana OG or the banana cush. Or, do you know what right. Ian's talking about with this bureaucracy crap? <laughs> I hear him, but I don't. So I'm just following. <laughs> well, how can I make this clearer? He's the man that he's the man that has to regulate. How about that? Does that make that clear? He's yes, the man the that has to man regulate time. the the way that these substances are used in the state, even if it's legal. See, the federal government has oversight over all of that. I see. I see. <laughs> My man, Ethan, you're the man. I just wanted to yeah, say that. Oh, you understand. I, I, <laughs> I really don't. I really, I really don't understand. You know, my you know, nigga. I'm just acting like I do. Is a, Yo, a group hold of up. people <laughs> who are in a government administration or yeah. who are in a government institution. How about that? You know what an institution <laughs> is, right? <laughs> yeah, that makes you sense. Know, I know. I, I've been, I've been, I've been in a, co- I've been in a couple, I've been in a couple of institutions. Everybody from the, everybody from the hold on, hold on, go ahead, let let let, let Nicole read yeah, that that's super chat. Bureaucracy to the people who take your <laughs> all right, uh, forget the bureaucracy, uh, B. <laughs> What? Forget the bureaucracy, B. It's about the weed. Go ahead. Let, let her read the super chat. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> Jamez donated $20. This light. Support Lancey, a young black man out here grinding. Put on blinders and keep your eye on the prize. Thank you, Jamez. That's right, sir. That's right. Tunnel vision. And my man is spending heavy paper. Yes, sir. If you have a banner or anything you want to promote on the show, or any type of business, please let me know. We will take care of that for you. We see you sending paper. We do appreciate those who send the paper to Stone Emotion. But anyway, that's on another note. Anyway, between bullet points, I'm just going to keep talking my, my, my nonsense. <laughs> Some more shit that I have to say. Am I clear, Nicole? Nicole, am I clear? Yes. You Can they hear good. me? I want to make sure they hear me. Okay. You know... As a black man who's moving up in this marijuana industry and trying to make a career in this radio game, I just want to say one thing. Watch out for the snakes. Watch out for the bozos. Watch out for the alleged homos. And people who are going to try to ride your, ride your cock, I mean, cocktail. Sorry, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little smacked right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So hey, anyway. Man. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Two, two. Beep, beep, beep. Two, two. Beep, beep. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think Stone in Motion is about fucking other people. This show's about we. This isn't even about me. It's a bigger cause than Lansky. That's how big I'm willing to sacrifice myself for the lines of the marijuana activism. And I just want to say to anybody else who does not feel that way, please fuck yourself. Maybe you be- maybe be- you belong on another show. Oh shit! They did that already. I got a donation to read. Blaine, bring the fuck shit. Fuck Ken Steele. Oh shit! It went back a little bit. Hold on. I got it. Bring the fuck shit. Fuck Ken Steele. Sound like a lost hoe on Daddy's little hoe down. Dana taking husbands and co-hosts. Where's Shay? Hopefully, listen, man. This show's not gonna turn into where's Lansky's co-hosts. But these are my co-hosts right now. The lovely Nicole and my man Ethan. Ethan doesn't smoke weed, but we don't care about that, right, Ethan? Because you, you <laughs> yeah, just, we don't you care. Just, about you that. just here to talk. You just here to talk your shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. Talk, talk your talk. On, that, yeah. I'm just uh, yeah. Be, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Nicole. That yeah, yeah. donated. Fuck those right. bitch ass niggas in the hate room. Ha 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 gang gang in this bitch. Yo, I need backup. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Listen. I'm gonna put this. I'll put this in the cat. I'm gonna put this in the casket and put it in the six feet deep tonight. A couple months ago, I helped a movement called Hog Gang. That shit is dead. All right. I don't rock with them anymore. These guys are forty plus. They're still rock, rocking uptowns, all white with the dirt and the creases. And you know what I'm saying? I I can't keep up with that nonsense. This is the movement here, Stone in Motion. This is what we do. Listen, I had sex last night, man. That might be a bullet point in a second. A stoner got some pussy last night. I'm not worried about niggas that fucking have 30 followers on SoundCloud, have the same 20 people, and they fucking instant. This is not what Stone in Motion is about. So, matter of fact, Nicole, right now, I know he's going to wait till the end of the show. I want you to go into your topic a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Before so we get into anything else. And everybody, hold on. You you hold on. You peasants and you minions respect the queen of stone in motion. Respect to Super Mo Ali. Respect to everybody. Respect to the hay squad, Super Mo Ali. Respect to everybody. Respect to everybody that's rocking with us. Respect to everybody who's sending donations. That's the only way I'll talk to you. Because right now I'm drinking cheap beer. And Nicole's, you know, she's helping me steal the show. My man Ethan, he's doing what he's doing his numbers. So go ahead, Nicole. Talk your talk. Talk what you want to do. <laughs> so basically, you know, these are like some strands that make you feel better when you're in the bedroom, like kind of like a. Uh, a keep it real, no, Nicole. These are no, let's these, keep are, the, it these are the. These are What was you smoking last night? I was smoking this blue night, man. But it didn't matter oh. because, listen, she knew what she was coming here for. She knew what she was coming here for. Let's just say. She took off her clothes and just laid in the bed. She knew what time it was. But go ahead, Nicole. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not about me. So, it's about these strains. Right, but do you enjoy smoking weed before you have... Uh, I enjoy sex? I enjoy smoking weed during sex, after sex, before sex. And I'll tell you one thing. When I was getting the sloppy toppy, this is G-rated talk, I was smoking some blue nightmare. Smoke to the plug. Okay. <laughs> Continue, Nicole. Continue. <laughs> I just want people to keep in mind when they want to use some natural alternatives to use the tea because it gives you, like, an energy boost and gives you a tingly body feeling, like cherry diesel or some strawberry cough. Um, have you ever had some granddaddy granddaddy purple? Yes, I did. But this is, okay. where, where we get to the article from? This is the high time one or which one is this one? This is the, this this is is the second Maxim. one, right? Yeah, Maxim, this is okay. Maxim. Maxim. dot com for, for everybody who wants to oh, find I the article. The whole, I, I didn't read the whole article. I was just basically just, um, just, just, out of the article. Just, just go ahead. So name what you do. Do what you do, Nicole. This is you know you, you down. You good? All right. So some um, Hindu skunk is like a melon strain to treat headaches, pain, and stuff like that. Um, sour dream. It's a hybrid also. Ultimate train wreck. So if you hear any of these strands and you want to have a good time, pick them up, get the three-point, put on Netflix, and enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how do you... <laughs> so could you just give the people the strains again? Name them out real quick for me, real quick, real quick. The ones you named so that they can hear them, so that people could, if you know, if you're trying to get it on, if you're trying to get it on, like I did last night, which is a fact. I did have sex. And these are all sativas. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Ultimate train wreck, train wreck, Hindu skunk, sour dreams, sour diesel, granddaddy pup, and strawberry cough, and cherry diesel. Okay. Salute to that. We got okay. a donation. The Cap Hill. My coworker just pissed out on a random. Pray for us wannabes. Pray for us who want to be wish we could smokers. Wish we could be smokers. Salute Lansky and the, te- and the team. Salute Capel and salute to you too as well. I didn't forget you. Uh, you did send me a birthday donation. And I do want to talk about that. My birthday was January. I put in a lot of work for the stoner community. I didn't feel the respect and the love that I was supposed to get through my PayPal on my birthday. So if you do want to hit that up, it's called Maya Lansky at 100gmail.com. But HBN, HB2N, if you didn't get head from Special K, it don't count. You let her put you in the friend zone like a bozo. No, sir. Me and Special K are coworkers. Uh, she's a good friend of mine, and we handle business, and it's not my fault that I'm a likable guy, man. 
You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault that people like Yeah, you don't shit where you eat either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Ethan Davo. You wanted to talk yeah. about something, right? Didn't you say you wanted to talk about something about uh, the black community who's not supporting uh, this witch hunt with this whole Harvey Weinstein, and now we have a black leader? I, I want to give you a couple minutes. No, no, you know, it wasn't was Harvey talking. Weinstein. It, it was, was Russell. Um, Russell Simmons. Yeah, so go ahead, man. Talk, talk. I know you were talking about to me about that earlier. Let's go and say that real quick before I get into the next story. No, no, no. So the ahead. black community let Russell Simmons go down and play. Just one, <laughs> two, three things. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, man, so, the, so, the, so the black community did not back up your man Russell Simmons on these alleged claims of his of his uh, misbehavior with sexual behavior. And, you know, we're stoners, but this is the type of shit. Not you, Ethan Melville. You're not a stoner, but this is the type of shit that stoners talk about shit that's going on in the current events, too. So don't get mad at us. But, yeah, Ethan Melville, the black community, let's keep it real. Def Jam, no, Russell Simmons, idea. the Adidas, the leather jacket, LL Cool J. I can't live without my radio. Right, right, I can't. Right, right, right. I can't live without my radio. Yeah. <laughs> and Where they like at? A burning building. Yeah. A burning building. Uh, you said Malmo. <laughs> they're nowhere to be found, huh? They they let my man burning like a joint, huh? Right. <laughs> Almost burn the crib down. Right. Ain't right, that right, right, right. You don't believe those allegations happen. No, it's not about believing whether or not these allegations happen. What I'm saying is. You got to have some kind of backup, right? He gave these <laughs> niggas some, you know, a place to eat, right? He didn't, he paid some of these people's rent, right? Yeah, he gave you right? Say that again. Say yeah, it again. Right. Ethan, I don't think people hear you. He, he did what for niggas? What did he do for niggas, Ethan? What, paid some of their rent? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> their mama's their rent. rent. Yeah. Their mama's rent. Their, rent. Their, their alleged crackhead sister's rent. Huh? Right. Their, their boyfriend that was in jail, five hundred dollars. They couldn't pay it. Come on, Nicole, back me up, Nicole. <laughs> Come on, huh? Niggas <laughs> uh, needed Adidas. Come on, niggas needed what? a car payment. Right, niggas, <laughs> niggas need to smoke. What'd you say, Nicole? I said Russell was paying. <laughs> yes, and, and had you know his, uh, special stash. He smokes weed too, right? Russell Simmons. <laughs> who, who smoked weed? Who? Allegedly. Who? <laughs> Russell Simmons. Yeah. Listen, man. Allegedly. I'm not. Allegedly. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get into no yoga trouble. So keep me out right, of it, right, man. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I said. Keep me out of it, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you feel so me? So we as a community do more for Russell Simmons? I said, hold on. Before you do that. Keep it real. Super Chats. Do y'all think they let Russell Simmons down? I know this is the weed show. We got, we got some more weed strains and stuff to get into, but we just sidetracking for a second. Make sure you hit the like button. Tag a friend. Make sure you hit me up, too, Lance's Corner. Uh, we got the Scully's merch. I'm looking for dispensaries and uh, growers. Please holler at me via email or Instagram. Fatna Luciano. What's a good strain for old nigga who don't like to cough? Well, we're about to get into that, too. I know I've been saying that. That's just a stoner problem, you know. You keep on delaying it. You keep on saying you're going to get into it. <laughs> but, you know, you take your time with it. As I'm saying this to you right now, sir, I'm sparking up my blunt. So, you see how serious you're I would you're say um, Super Silver Haze, Fat Namusiano. If you can get some Super Silver Haze, it's good for old niggas. That's good for old niggas, 35 and up. Yeah. Def D, donated. I'm drunk yeah. off Tito's vodka. I got cash for ass. Where the real ones at? I'm hot as shit. Pop the Molly and I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the Molly and I'm sweating. Woo! Well, sir, listen. I tried to get Lady Cher on my show. She didn't want to come on. So since I couldn't get her on, you need to go to Backpage or Craigslist. And I'm not telling you to go solicit there for Nani or Vagina, but you could solicit it for personal company to chill with you for the night. I haven't done it, but hey, let us know how it goes. Super Mowali, Nicole, schoolboy or Cliff Bravo? You know I pick schoolboy all day. If Lady <laughs> Shay lets you down, I'm free to do that photo shoot. Nicole, I guess that's to you, so do you want to answer that? I'm going to say Cliff Bravo. That's my boo. 
Shout out to Cliff Bravo. I want to say shout out to <laughs> Cliff Bravo. He sent me some money, and he said, Lansky, this is for you. Take care of your issues, my nigga. Cliff Bravo, you're a real one. Michael Foster. Ken Steele. Laugh like a heroin addict whore sucking dick in a subway bathroom. Well, sir, he's no longer on this show. So if you want to listen to him, you find him on another platform. This is Stone Emotion. The greatest thing to happen since marijuana. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? As I'm talking to you right now, it's like I'm talking to myself in the mirror. This is the greatest thing. <laughs> since, this is the greatest thing since marijuana. Do, do y'all understand that? Like, y'all not, y'all not, I'm not scared of y'all. I'm not scared of Hong Gang. I'm not scared of Ken Steele. I'm not scared of anybody. I'm stating names. I'm dropping names. Let's get it lit. Let's get it rocking. Profit made. Salute to Nicole. Hey, squad running in this chat room. Fuck her. Salute Profit made. Thank you. Yeah. Salute to everybody hey, from the Hey, squad. squad. And I do want to say uh, salute to uh, Super Moali. I'm a little high right now. Hold on um, a second. Yes. Just want to put it out there today. I mean, not today. Yesterday. It went down with the stoner in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, did it? Email though. Email though. It went down, my G. <laughs> it went down. <laughs> Two rounds. Two rounds with a stoner. <laughs> no, it's been a long time, Lansky. Oh, two time. rounds with a stoner. No, not two rounds. How long has it been prior to this? Listen, listen, not everything has to be disclosed, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say I've been working hard and uh, it paid off last night. Blame. <laughs> no reason. Settle for hood pussy. You should have fucked Miss K. Ken still was your bitch, Lansky. Since when is pimping bad for business? Once again, sir, Special K is my co-host. I respect that woman, and she does a lot for the brand, and... Like I said, Ken Steele, who's That's Ken Steele? Who's Hong Gang? Huh? If you guys want to keep on donating about these people, I don't know these people. Listen, I'm a 90s fan. I watch Damon Wayne movies like, you know, Mo Money and Living Color. I don't watch Runways on the Model, man. That's not my thing, man. I get free on my own. But anyway, I'm going to the next story, man. Feel free. Shout out to everybody here in the Super Chat right now. We're really a look right now. Uh, two more Super Chats. No, three more Super Chats. And I will take a shot of straight Haitian rum before the show is over while I'm smoking oh on this blue on this blue nightmare. It might Keep be the a donations blue. coming. The <laughs> next three donations I see, I will take a shot of Haitian rum straight from Haiti. It's not a shithole. Haiti is not hell, okay? Haiti is not hell. Stoned emotions for life. But anyway, next topic. Uh, this story comes to us by, I don't know, I'll give it back to you all in a second because I got to check my email. But this is this is uh, Jack in the Box. We have to salute Jack in the Box. Every week in Stoned Emotion, we applaud somebody who does something for the marijuana community. And this week it is Jack in the Box. Starting today, Jack in the Box, and uh, Mary Jane, Mary, like Merry Christmas, Mary Jane launched the the um, Merry Munchy Meal. And that comes from us from MaryJane.com. That's Merry, like Merry Christmas. The West Coast food icon, Jack in the Box, which is, you know, more on the West Coast, is joining forces with media company Mary Jane, not Mary Jane, Mary, like Merry Christmas, to mm -hmm. offer limited edition value meal. From today, January 18th to J January 25th at select Jack in the Box locations in Southern California. Yes. Celebrate. They're cele they're, this is for the celebration of legalization of marijuana in California, which just passed January 1st. Uh, you could, uh, Chief of Operations. I'm so high, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. All right, this is for celebrating legalization <laughs> of marijuana in California, all right? Well, right? It says, yeah, well, they're, hold on. they're introducing, hold on. I read that story, they're introducing almost something like a Happy Meal, right? All right, yes, hold on, hold on. Yeah, like a 420 this is, special. Yes, this is to celebrate the legalization of marijuana in California, said 
uh, Scott Chunk, who is the CEO of Mary Jane, which is the chief operations officer. So the meal will consist of half seeds, which are half, half curly fries, onion ring, two famous uh, brand tacos, two five mini chuck off two five. <laughs> what are you talking about? Five mini, five mini churros and three chicken strips plus a drink for 420 exactly obviously you get the pun 420 we eat haha this will be served in three locations in long beach california uh pacific coast highway palo verde avenue and atlantic avenue all located in long beach california the state before i let uh kenna um not ken not that not that bozo before i let e and uh nicole get us we some donations blue label media I told Ken Niels was a straight corn. I told y'all Ken Niels was a straight cornball. Well, sometimes, you know, there's a message, but we don't listen to the messages being sent to us. Uh, Gorilla Zoe, Lansky, so Lady Shay let you hit for a place to sleep, huh? I know you went raw too, nasty nigga. No, sir. Unfortunately, I live on my own. I don't live in my car. I don't do anything like that, and that's not a shot to anybody. But go ahead, e, you said you read the story. So what did you think about this? No, well, they made a special uh, meal for the munchies that you get when you do whatever brand of marijuana you smoke. So they made sure they did, uh, what do they call that, research, and put it all in the meal, and then you just buy this meal, especially for stoners, you see? And so they want this money. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Um, like the CEO said, it's to, it's to celebrate the Cali uh, recreational and marijuana legal, legalization that happened January 1st. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Nicole, I know you were too big on the story. So, yeah, but everybody like I said, smoking weed in Cali. So. That's good. Not everybody smoking weed in Cali. Come on. There's a lot of people smoking weed in Cali. There's a lot of people. It's recreational. Yeah, majority, especially majority now that people. you have the recreation weed. Yeah. See, they're making money. Gonna, you're, you're, see, you're, see, you're, see you're, McDonald's got to have to have a, a special happy meal just like Jack. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, I Ethan, told Mel, you, Ethan, I told Ethan, will you, you will you buy will meal. you buy the four twenty meal? This thing is just as popular as gasoline. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what you were saying. Like that's what you were saying yeah. on the phone earlier. Yeah. Tell the people what you said last week and what you believe in. Tell them what you said, that, that marijuana yeah, is a new what? Thing, yeah, marijuana is a new gasoline, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to be hooked. Everybody needs a fix. And everybody wants to have a piece, a cut of this commerce that's arising in the country. Yes. Making a lot yes. of money. Burger King, everybody's going to have something for you stoners. Just wait. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Like, us stoners don't deserve to eat, man. I'm not we, saying that as a derogatory. We're contributing to the economy. I'm not saying that as a Stoners eat more. Yes, you're right. Listen, <laughs> reports have shown, reports have shown as of lately, where they have uh, marijuana decriminalization, uh, crime has gone down. If you don't believe me, you could Google that. <laughs> Google right. that. Yeah, Google that. You know what I'm saying? What are you saying, Nicole? I said that's a good thing. That's the exactly. bad thing. Everybody's no more niggas around. running. No more. No more niggas running up in the Wendy's, man. You know why? <laughs> Cause they hood got a dispensary now, so they don't gotta run up and do a jux. They don't gotta knock you over the head with the butt of a gun when you're coming out getting your meal anymore. You know why? Right. Yeah. Because they're right. fucking with the dispensaries, my nigga. Right. We need right. here right. to right. save right. the people. We're here to save the people. This is what Stone Emotion is right. about. Once again, right, right, right. all dispensaries holler at me. We're trying to get you guys more, more. We're trying to get the people more informed, and we're trying to get y'all to sponsor and to promote y'all business at the same time, man. Anybody who knows any dispensaries, hit me in the super chat or hit me behind the scenes. It's a fact, though. Right, right, right. Grandma's walker doesn't have to be kicked out from under her, right? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, right. Ethan? What'd you yeah, say, I Grandma's walker? Grandma's what? walker doesn't have to be kicked out from under her, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right, right, right. That's right. right. Grandma, right, right. You don't gotta hear you don't Grandma crack, talking you don't shit when you walk in the house, man right? Over the head and steal his quality, boy. You can get your <laughs> weed at the dispensary, right? 
<laughs> yeah, Grim, I don't gotta be like, oh boy, you stink, because you now it's legal, your, right? Yeah, you don't have to steal money from Grandma's purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout yeah, out to the niggas uh, stealing the money. Shout, shout right. out to the niggas yeah. stealing money from their Grandma's purse to send a super chat. We really fucking with you. But next time you steal that money, steal us for some weed. Do it for the right. cause. You feel me? All right, man. This is the last story of the night. Nicole, you know, you said you were still on the story. I was still on the story. And um, this is mixing weed with sports. And I'm going to take my time with this one. Uh, anybody who's heard this story or uh, who lives in the area of where the story is going down, please hit us up. Let us know what's going on with that. This one comes to us. Yes, it's not high times this week. It's MaryJane.com. She's the one who's bringing us this information. Or he. We don't know who that is. <laughs> Whatever. NBA alumni Al Harrington calls on league to embrace cannabis and stop ignoring alcohol abuse. So this is a story about uh, former NBA player Al Harrington, who is now a proprietor of extracts, and he also is a legalization activist for marijuana. He did 16 years in the NBA. That's the National Basketball, National Basketball Association, for those who don't know. So um, Al Harrington is now the proprietor of Violet Extracts and New Ease, and his new essay for Players, Tribu for Players Tribune uh, called Nine Reasons to End the War on Marijuana. He discusses the racial profiling and the medical benefits and et cetera, other things like that that he experienced while growing up in Orange, New Jersey. Uh, obviously, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, extracts are any oils that concentrates the plant's chemical compounds like THC and CAB. There's a process. It's like a, a breaking bad process. So be careful if you're out there trying to make extracts. I don't advise that. Um, but that's what extracts are. Uh, Harrington, okay. Harrington brought cannabis to the NBA forefront last year in a short documentary for LeBron James, Uninterrupted. It was produced and starred Harrington and it was called The Concept of Cannabis. In this uh, documentary, Harrington estimates that about 70 to 80 percent of the players in the league break the rules and use marijuana, especially during off-season. He also has dry a former snitching. dry snitch. And Nicole, I'm going to come to you first because I know you're, you're ready to go. David Stern, <laughs> is the, uh, David Stern, the former NBA commissioner, which was, you know, he used to be the former commissioner before uh, right. the new commissioner now. Uh, he was in the video as well, and uh, he was talking with uh, how they had issues during the 90s, you know, when they had the, the bad boy era. No, David Stern, the uh, former NBA commissioner. No, 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 he, he was, was talking in there. to Harrington, right? Yeah, he was talking to Harrington, yeah, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, they were discussing how weed was like a big deal back then in the 90s basketball, early 2000s, how a lot of players uh, were getting caught up in the program. And uh, basically, you know, just to put it like this in his article as well, and in the uh, you know in the documentary, he states that you know weed should be a better way to go to players because he knows at least ten to twelve players that had career cuts short due to uh, alcohol. It's a well known that liquor can destroy lives, but we're still demonizing demonizing cannabis while alcohol is promoted at sporting events. It all starts with honesty. So Nicole, I'm gonna go to you. You say he's dry snitching. I saw one donation. So, you know, get those donations in because the Haitian rum is right next to me. Let's go. Wait, yeah. Go ahead, Nicole. Did you, you want me to talk about Harrison or catch the Super Chat? Oh, go ahead. Catch Super Chat. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Super Chats are more important. Super Chats are always more important in the story. So, go ahead. Do you have it? People. I, I can't it. see it. What? You lost it? Yeah. All right, hold on. Okay. We'll get it back. The Cat Pill donated $4. Yeah. Does CBD come up negative or THC on drug tests? That's for you, uh, Lansky. Yeah. Does, what yeah. was the question, Nicole? I'm sorry, I didn't. I, didn't, I was just. Does smoking. CBD the come up negative or THC or drug tests? I would say obviously THC comes in positive on marijuana drug tests because they All test right. for it when they're looking for uh, if you smoke weed or marijuana. The CBD, I wouldn't know because I haven't smoked, but that's a good question. I will get back to you with that answer next week. Okay. I don't have that Two answer Two more right donations now. for the Haitian rum. Oh, yeah? 
Wait. No, no, next. There's two more. That was one down. I thought it was two, but all right, I'm high. Whatever, Ethan, did you see the story? <laughs> did you see the story about uh, the parenting that I found? Yeah, I saw the story. You see, the thing is, this ties into one of the stories that you gave me. Now, marijuana is a $6.7 billion, with a B, industry. And for all of the beer that's served or the alcohol that's served, this is one of the industries that rivals alcohol. So you can imagine the kind of money that can be raked in at the stadiums and everything else like that when this finally becomes out in the open or something that's a controlled substance, just like alcohol. <laughs> right? Listen. Right. Eat an elbow. Right. I'm going to keep it what real. what do you like to drink socially? Yeah. Oh, whiskey. What is Ethan? Whiskey. You don't smoke. Yeah. You don't whiskey. smoke, but I know you drink. Yeah. Press them, Nicole. Press them. Press them. What do you, what do you so like to drink? Socially, like when you're with your boys, what you drinking? Oh, whiskey. Whiskey, still. Uh, okay. <laughs> whiskey, whiskey. Rum. <laughs> you know, all that fly shit. Yeah. Oh, that fly. <laughs> Say it again, my nigga. Pop, pop your collar, my G. I fuck with you either. Tell them what you're drinking, Ethan right. Malvo. You ain't, you're not hitting the tree, but you're on that fly nigga shit. And you're right, drinking what? Right, 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 right. You drinking the whiskey? Yeah, whiskey. And you don't drink hard liquor, uh, Lansky? Uh, listen, I'm ready to take a shot of Haitian rum right now, but we got like three uh, okay. minutes left, so see, see. I'm just going to let everybody talk they talk, but... It's just the freestyle point of the show, but fuck it. See, beer is just a filler, right? Yeah, beer 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 is just a filler. It's a filler upper, man, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) But listen, man, I'm going to take the shot of the extra run for the people. That's what I'm going to say. Stone in motion gear, uh, shirts, lighters, scullies. You can contact me via email. I just want to say that I appreciate everybody rocking out with Stone in motion. We're going to bring bigger and better things this year. Also, we're staying bozo free. I know a lot of people is hitting me up about the previous situation. Listen, I, just because I just because you talk to me on the internet does not mean we're friends. I don't know you. Y'all niggas is crazy, my nigga. Let's get shit correct. Y'all niggas don't know me. Spend the money with the bag or bring something to the table, man. I don't understand. Before I even get into that, Principal Feeney, Malvo, so you miss parent teacher conference <laughs> to attend this drug show. Please join me in the office at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> you're going to hit. You're going to Fortunately, you know, I, I talked to Mansky, so he knows the boundaries here. They, they, listen, soon this is going to be, it's, it's not going to be any kind of taboo to be talking <laughs> about marijuana. I'll keep the floor to you. I don't want to get you off track. Go ahead, man. No, listen, man. I'm drinking Haitian rum right now, man. So y'all who don't know, that's <laughs> Baba Cool. <laughs> that's Baba Cool. We out of Haiti while I'm drinking the Blue Night, man. Listen, like Profit I said, man. I'm going. Go ahead. I'm not going to hold my fork. Donated $5. Take that shot, nigga. Hey, squad. I took, I took the again. shot. I took the shot because we already got three donations. Oh. But salute to everybody. But uh, this show is about to come to an end soon. Let me just uh, promote what I got to promote real quick. Close out, Nicole. Just give them your PayPal, your information. And then Ethan, go ahead after her. So go ahead, uh, Nicole. I'll okay. put my PayPal information up next Thursday. So see you guys next Thursday, hopefully. Okay. Thanks. Ethan. Go ahead, Ethan. Yeah, hook me up on my PayPal. <laughs> uh, hook him up. Hook a brother up. Yeah, <laughs> hook, hook, hook me up on my PayPal. PayPal, Ethan. Slash, I forgot where it was. Three oh, I forgot where it was. I forgot where it was. Well, it's in the rebroadcast. I need to, I need to write so it down. I need to write down. I haven't. <laughs> come on, nigga. If you can't remember where the people need to send you your paper, my nigga. Come on, Ethan. I gotta, I gotta really start asking for real quick. But we, we, we about to be. We, yo, we out of here. Stone emotion. We'll be back next week. Fuck all that fly nonsense, niggas is talking about. No ten minute, no ten minute outro. PayPal, I'm going live right after the show. Salute. Thank you, Star. We out of here. Hate Squad, Nicole, Ethan. One. Hate Squad.